He's swimming it out. He's swimming it out. Mission, are you focused? It's always nice to get out and get a fresh breath of air rather than staring at, you know, monitors all day. And... Lakewood High School's outdoor classroom, unique in Pinellas County, serves as an oasis in the middle of an urban environment. There are no rows of desks, whiteboards, or notebooks. Here, students learn about the importance of natural resources and how to maintain them. This lake that you see behind me is actually man-made. Uh, this wasn't here before. And so they use some groundwater to establish it, but this lake is actually recharged from runoff from our student parking lot. You get a hands-on experience with one-on-one -on -one tests for the water qualities, and you get to learn about actual invasive species of the plants, like the pepper tree. We've been actually trying to take those out, and you've been, we've been able to identify them and identify other types of trees, like palm trees and small brush. Lakewood's Academy for Aquatic Management Systems and Environmental Technology Program, known as AMSET, teaches students marine science through an ecosystem approach. You can teach someone in a classroom uh, all day long and you can do a lab in a classroom, but until you can get outside and actually do it for real in a field type setting, it doesn't have much meaning to it. Um, the outdoor classroom provides our students access to a wetland environment. We can do transecting, we can do water samples, we can do species inventories, and it's on our own, on our own property. The projects students do in the outdoor classroom vary from chopping down trees to experimenting with plants. Uh, this project is a project on aquaponics. The project works by using a couple of two liter soda bottles. On the top bottle we have plants that would be living on land and those plants actually feed and clean out the bottom tank which is where we have our fish or other aquatic life such as crayfish. So my hypothesis was that over the weeks the plant life would help support the fish. My hypothesis was wrong. I believe that the um, plant that was store-bought had chemicals and fertilizers in it which killed the fish leaving them all to die and suffocate. In addition to these types of projects, changes are coming to the Environmental Academy. In addition to aquaculture, the program is adding an agriculture component, including raising quail and goats and growing vegetables for the home ec classes. And so it's perfect. We will be training our students to go out, evaluate environments, determine what's wrong, come up with a management plan and then go out and work to make it better. I'm excited about the new changes in Lakewood AMSET program because it's something new to learn about and there's always new discoveries and new findings in marine science and this is just going to give the marine science, the AMSET kids, a better outlook on the careers they can have in life. Most of the maintenance in the outdoor classroom is taken care of by the students. However, there are times when the Pinellas County school system steps in to help. Costs for tools and equipment, mowing the lawn, and gas come out of funds provided by the school system. The Association for Career and Technical Education also plays a role in the funding for this program. The ultimate goal is that the students here learn some basic skills, but more importantly, practice it in a real-world setting. Our students work with the city of St. Petersburg. We're working at Crescent Lake, and we're working at Mirror Lake. Um, our students are working with um, city councilmen, city planners, city engineers, and they're taking the skills that they learn here and putting it into action in their own communities. I'm not saying that every kid in AMSET's gonna be an environmental engineer or even a biologist, but that hands-on interaction and doing something with what they're learning is the most critical part. Reporting for the PBS Student Reporting Labs and Spartan News Network at Lakewood High School in St. Petersburg, Florida, this is Bob Campbell.